What? Swill's back? Yo, tell everybody, Swill's back! Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back for another episode of Iron Throne. I'm so excited guys, you have no idea how excited. Words can't even express how excited I am right now. What's going on right now in Iron Throne is Swill Entertainment Gaming is back. And this, this episode is actually sponsored by Netmarble, so I'm pretty excited about that as well. All right, so we're coming back to Iron Throne guys, but we're gonna actually start over from scratch. And we've done that just a little bit earlier today. So we went ahead and uh, started a fresh account, brand new, fresh out the box. <laughs> smell that new car smell. That's it right there. I'm glad you guys like it. All right, so we're definitely going to come back into the game. Now, we're actually starting on the newest kingdom that they have right now. It's Kingdom 51. All right, so if you guys do want to play with me, and I definitely want to play with you guys and enjoy this game to the fullest, 100%, I'm going to leave a link down in the description down below. Please click on that link to go ahead and take advantage of that. Uh, if you guys don't click the link, that's fine. It's definitely available in the Play Store and iOS Store as well at the App Store for the iPhone. All right, so you guys can download the game as accordingly. But yeah, definitely use the link. I would definitely highly encourage you guys to use the link. Definitely want to make sure I play with you guys. I want to make sure you guys come into the right kingdom. Everything like that. All right, so we're going to make an alliance as well, guys. So, you know, definitely want to do that. Now, I'm, a, I'm in a different alliance right now. It's, it's kind of, to me, it's kind of dead. But we're going to make an alliance. So I need your guys' help for sure, 100%. Um, I need help naming the alliance. So whatever the alliance is gonna be named, guys, I want you to put that in the comments down below, all right? So there's two things I need you guys to do. Click the link in the description. Number two, come up with a name for the alliance, which we will be making pretty soon, hopefully this week. That'll be the thing we're gonna start working on. All right, so we are started over here, which is 100% okay, all right? So this is one of those games where it really doesn't matter if you have to start over and do your thing. This game is fun regardless. And I had always wanted to uh, start the game over. I was thinking about that for the past maybe two or three weeks. I was like, you know what? I kind of want to play the game, but I want to start over. Now I have an opportunity to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on that opportunity. All right. So we're going to do things just a little bit more, a little bit, I'm not going to say unorthodox, but we're going to do things a little bit much more differently than we did with our first account. Now, I'm not necessarily banning in my first account. I still have it. Just don't think I'm going to probably go back to that kingdom. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but right now, Kingdom 51 is where it's at, guys. That's the flavor of the month there. All right, so yeah, definitely want to make sure we get an alliance here because the ones that are here right now are pretty boring. All right, so now the first order of business, which you guys can definitely do as well, is I don't want to insult anyone's intelligence, but there are going to be a lot of new players into the game. Uh, we do have some other guides on the channel. You guys can check those out as well. But we're going to make some fresh ones updated for 2019. All right, so I want to look, you know, the, the other guys are maybe like a year or two old or whatnot. Not that they're bad or anything like that, but some different things in the game have different, um, definitely changed in the game. So you want to make sure that you guys stay up to date with the latest and greatest. And one of the things you guys could do is make sure you guys are subscribed to the Swill Entertainment Gaming channel. Um, we do post up videos daily. All right. And I do interact with you guys as much as I possibly humanly can. Um, definitely love getting everyone's feedback. What do you guys think we should be doing on the channel? What games should we play? Whatever the case is, I'm always, I'm always open ears 100%. All right, so the best thing for me to do right now is go ahead and get our, we want to get our castle up, but we don't, or actually our citadel, we don't want to do that all the time. Let me see, we want to get that up to snuff as much as we can. Now, one good thing about this is before you could do anything in the game as far as upgrading, it's going to let you know your prerequisites, what you have to do first, all right? That's one of the good things about this game. Like right now, I can't upgrade this mine, this iron mine anymore to level five, which is the next level, until I get the Citadel to level five. So instead of having to go all the way back onto the map and figure out, oh man, what do I gotta do? I have to go find the Citadel, see what it is. I gotta find it. You might not know what the Citadel is. You might have forgot, you might have forgotten. You might not have uh, watched the tutorials, which I do highly encourage you guys, uh, for the brand new players, definitely want you guys to uh, watch the tutorials and do that. Um, you can also go watch my tutorials as well, because we're gonna have a whole bunch of coming up on the, on the channel as well. So the only thing I would have to do is go ahead and click on the Citadel itself, click the arrow. It's going to take me right to that. Now, I can't upgrade the Citadel until my wall gets level 3. So we're going to go ahead and click on the little right arrow again. And there we go, forge. And so on and so forth, guys. Now, you have different buttons on the bottom here. You have the finish now for free, or you have the free button. Now, you have some time 
um, let's say like two minutes. It's going to tell you whatever two minutes is going to be. And there's going to be like a, a currency amount on there as well. So we're going to take advantage of the free for now. This is cool, man. I love this game so much, guys. You have no idea how excited I am about this. All right, so we're going to be getting some resources and some other things from the ships. Oh, yeah, three-hour speed-ups. Man, this is amazing. I will. I will most definitely check back often. So let's go ahead and get this going. Let's move some stuff out of the way here. We're going to get down and dirty here. All right, so right now, our... Builder Hammer is not busy right now, so we're going to make sure we get this thing busy. So let's go ahead and get the Forge leveled up as much as we can. Alright, so the max is 4. So let's go ahead and get the Iron Mine up to 5. And I don't think there's a way you can get a second Builder. That would be one of the things I can definitely... I wish the developers would have put a second Builder in there, but I can understand why sometimes you don't have a second Builder. But it is pretty um monotonous not having that second Builder. Alright, so the Citadel's going to get leveled up twice. We leveled the Citadel two times, guys. Twice. That's amazing. There's going to be some different things that will get unlocked as well. And I love the cinematics, guys. These cinematics are, like, phenomenal. Phenomenally awesome. All right, so looks like we get a dragon now. Now, in this game, you don't necessarily get a dragon that you can, it's going to fight for you, but you get a dragon that's going to give you some re um, resources or some kind of currency. I can't remember what it is exactly. But we're going to find out once this cooldown timer is finished. I think there's, like, a cooldown on it when you first get it. If I remember correctly. This must be the dimensional gate. I'd only heard legends of it before now. My lord, as a descendant of the firstborn, you should have the power to use it. Alright, so let's go ahead and click on that. Alright, would you like to start the dimensional battle tutorial? Yes, let's go ahead and start that tutorial now. I see someone over to the west. Perhaps. I'll help you, all right. So let's go ahead and click on that. This is different. I don't remember this. I remember a dimensional battle, but I don't remember this dimensional battle. This is just a little bit different. Let me see. Oh, no, it's not. This must be the villain that Vance spoke of. We should fight alongside those soldiers. Majesty, what are your orders? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Nice. Alright, so face off victory. Maria is in there. Now we can skip this chapter, but I don't want to do it. I like to watch this. After a few times, it gets kind of, you know, monotonous. You want to go ahead and skip it, you can. But I highly encourage you guys to watch me tonight. Just for the first part. Sucky, sucky. Sire, we may have won this battle, but that thing will continue to threaten our realm. If we don't finish him off, we must give chase. Alright, so that's that. Let's go ahead and do our next stage. My lord, our scouts found enemy troops. I believe we can in Alright, so you can see the troop info for troops of both you and your opponent. Um, you can change or add heroes or troops to march. Before the battle begins, tap the siege icon and add one siege. So let's go ahead and do that. Great work. Tap the siege, uh, selected hero or troop to cancel your selection. All right. So I guess there's some little construction going on. In the house behind me or something like that. It's kind of kind of loud. <laughs> That's weird. I hear it big time. All right. We spotted the enemy. Let's go ahead and start that battle. All right, so we got little Blondie there. All right, so we got the face-off victory there. All right, so for this part right here, guys, we're going to go ahead. Well, I was about to skip it, but no. All right, so you can use skills in battle to attack enemy troops. 
use the summon ogre skill to summon the ogre within the enemy ranks. All right, so this is going to be kind of like a refresher for me. I haven't done this part of the battle in a very long time, guys. It's been a couple years or so, roughly. All right, so let me see here. Got a big old giant ogre right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Congratulations on your victory. However, it seems the enemy tactician is still ahead of my lord. The enemy has fled, and we found something strange among... What is that? Okay, so we got the level one hero king's signet. So that's, that's one thing we've gotten right there. A piece of equipment imbued with magical powers. Perhaps the enemies in this room <coughs> make use of many objects. Okay. Sire, we should deploy our cavalry quickly to subdue the enemy archers. All right, so we can put more troops in here, I guess. Let's go ahead and start this. Well, I don't really want to do all these dimensional battles, but we're going to go ahead and do what we have to do. All right, before battle begins, you can um, alter the battle formation of your troops. Let's move to cavalry position. Oh. So let's move these guys up there. All right, so let's go ahead and start that battle. And we're going to skip this chat. Let's get in there so we get that, um, that edge. All right, so we beat Roderick. So I think this is the part we're going to get Roger. So I know he's one of the heroes that we get. And he's one of my favorites. Besides Maria here, he's one of my favorites. Alright, so we can use some of these uh, special abilities. We got the Ogre. I'm going to put that guy out there. Fantastic. The further we go, the more troops they seem to have. This must mean we're getting close to their main... Oh, sucky, sucky. Three stars, guys. Three stars or go home. We get lots of resources just for that. And that's one thing about this game, guys. It is very generous on the resources. Very generous. I don't even know if I said generous. That's weird. But yeah, generous. Very generous on resources. All right. So yeah. All right. So first, let's select a hero to send to battle. Dimensional gate battles. You can only send out one hero. All right. So we didn't... I thought we had Maria. All right. Select one hero that will enter the battle. You can select from the heroes you currently own. So we have two right now. And that's going to be it right there for that one. I don't think we're going to go too much further on this one right now. I don't want to go too far on this battle. But let's see. Select 10 troops that will enter battle. The different types of troops have leverages with each other. So, you know, infantry, archers. I don't really want siege in there. But you want to have as much as you can put in there. So 10. I think cavalry are pretty strong right now. So that's what we're going to work on right now. Also, we're going to go ahead and level up our troops. So we have to level up our barracks and... Well, I'll, I'll go over all the little buildings and all that kind of stuff like that in a future episode. So we're going to skip the chapter here. Wow. She got the zone. Alright, so we don't really need to use our specials, but we will. Just for this episode here. Alright, so Ogre takes a long time just to uh, deploy. That's the only problem I have with the Ogre. He's so slow, man. Big and slow. Battles won. With or without him, we got it done. So I'm okay with that. Alright, so next day, let's go ahead and leave. We're not going to do any more dimensional battle for now. However, if we do want to do dimensional battle, we have a long ways to go. So we got... Oh, we only have one more to go for the one dash series there. All right, so we got that one. Then we have the arena. Arena is available to complete chapter two to unlock. Okay, so that's that right there. Okay, so we have to do, let me see, upgrade training ground to level two. And that's one other thing we're going to have to do as well. So let's go ahead and do the free one. Buildings, recruit and train people in the castle to become troops. Up. There are four types of troops. Infantry, archers, cavalry, and siege. The rally point is where you can see the status of all the troops and traps you currently possess. All right, so we're we're pretty good on this episode here, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Definitely want to um, thank everyone for taking the time out of your busy days to join me here on the Swill Entertainment Gaming Channel, and I hope to see you guys again on the channel as well. Now, to do that, make sure you guys are subscribed, and then make sure your bell notifications are turned on. That way, you'll be alerted each and every time that we do post a video on the channel, because we, like I said, we do post videos daily. 
And I definitely want to get some feedback as what you guys think we should be doing on the channel as well. And thank everyone for doing whatever you guys have been doing. Uh, we're about to get 5,000 subscribers. About to hit that. Like last time I checked, we need like 20 subscribers. I don't like to beg for subscribers. That's not what I'm doing. But I'm just letting you guys know that it's been a long journey, and I definitely appreciate each and every one. I'm gonna go ahead and thank you guys in advance uh, for the 5,000 subscribers because we're about to get that this week. I'm pretty sure. If not, that's cool. Get it next week. Whatever the case is. But either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace out.